Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if y'all are new here, my name is Emma. I am a first year fifth grade teacher in Tennessee and today starts my classroom setup series. So as you can tell, I've got my car packed to the brim behind me. I'm headed down to school today. I have a meeting from 12 to two, but it's about like 10:45 right now. So I'm gonna try and get there early to get some stuff loaded into my classroom. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get into my classroom until like, August probably August 1st the week before school started um, but I randomly got an email yesterday from my principal saying that our portables were ready and that we could start moving in today so I have never been in my room it's a brand new portable no one's ever taught in there or anything and so I've seen it through the windows but can't really get a gauge for the setup and everything and so today will kind of be like an empty classroom tour and then just me unloading all of this I don't know if I'll be able to unload it before or after my meeting but we will see so yeah I'm really excited to kind of get all this stuff out of my house and get it into my classroom and get it set up so let's go downtown and go get my classroom set up okay so I just pulled up to school and I'm gonna go in because all the teachers like collected supplies for all the new teachers just like stuff they didn't want so I'm gonna go look in there and then I'll start bringing stuff to my classroom So here we are. I just walked in that room. I've got a window. I've got a whiteboard and they requested to have the whole wall as whiteboard. So I might be getting another one. I've got a bulletin board. And then that I think is where my kidney table, which is also going to be my teacher desk is going to go and I'll have my stuff like behind it. I've got two water fountains that the kids can't use yet. Um, I've got my bathroom. I have a bathroom in here and then just a plain wall and I've got another door and another window and we are back. So I'm going to go get some stuff from my car and I'll unload it. Okay, so I just brought a few things in, but it's so hot outside and I don't want to get all sweaty before my meeting. So that's just like stuff that they have. Brought in my bulletin board background, brought in my toolbox, my cart, the treasure box and that. So we will see how it goes. This room is actually kind of tiny. I don't know how I'm gonna fit like 22 desks in here, but if we go 50% capacity, it'll be perfect. So I'm gonna go to my meeting about curriculum and then I will come back later. So I just finished up with our planning meeting that was about two hours long and now I am starving because I've only had breakfast. So I think I'm gonna go get some lunch and then come back and start unloading my car. It's what's left. The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't want to waste what's left I am exhausted. It is like 100 degrees outside and that is a long walk from my car here. But I've got everything that I brought today in here. So let me show you. So I brought this mirror I have over here. I have little hanging things and I'm going to hang it on the back of our bathroom door and make like an affirmation mirror thing. I've got my two bookcases that I bought, my tin drawer rolly cart, got some random stuff in there, a lot of stuff from Target, more random stuff from Target, things to hang on the wall. This is like a bin of stuff I've been collecting for like two years. My purse, some more like turn-in bins, stuff from the Dollar Tree. I have a bunch of puzzles in there for like indoor recess. My mom sent me with like Lysol, soap, toilet paper, and paper towels to put in there for now. I've got my bulletin board border. This is going to be my library return cart. I've got my name sign, treasure box, teacher toolbox, and then some books I picked up from that free teacher thing. And I will go. So right now I'm just kind of putting stuff like where it goes like pretty sure my library is going to go back there. So those are the two bookcases I brought. I've got like my tin drawer thing back here and I have a bookcase from home that I'm going to bring for all my stuff and put it right here. And then I'll put my toolbox on top and like a lamp. That's the paper that's going up there. And good thing is look how many outlets there are. I think I counted eight around the room and I have one right here for my lamp which will be good so I'm really excited about that another thing that's super exciting is that I found this whiteboard is magnetic so now I can order like a magnetic 
curtain rod to put anchor charts on. I can order magnetic thing for uh, my pins to go in and stuff. So thankfully this one's magnetic because a lot of other teachers don't have magnetic ones. And so now I look horrible. Now I'm going to attempt to like measure out the room and I'm going to draw it on a piece of paper just so I can like get all the dimensions down so I can work on stuff at home. And I'm also going to measure the doors and the windows because I'm going to do a door display on the back side. And I want to have like little pom-pom things going over the windows. So I'm going to measure all that just so I can like get it in my brain and work on stuff at home. Till my shadow turns to sun rays and Okay, so I found out that it's 28 and a half feet long and 23 feet wide. So that's a little smaller than the other portables. See, like there's like older portables out here. And we went into one of my team teacher's old portables and it was like 31 by 23. So it's not terrible, but she said it was super tight in there with all 22 desks and stuff. So we're just going to have to see how we can configure this. And there's another bug on my wall over here. And I hate the bugs, but I don't know if I showed y'all the bathroom. It's funny because there's a plug in here, like for a hairdryer or something, but I'm going to put a Glade plug in in here. And it's like actually pretty big and nice. So I'm definitely going to maybe get like a little storage thing to store stuff in here. And because of COVID, our kids can't go in the building to go to the bathroom. So they'll all have to be using our bathroom. So we're definitely going to have to teach them lots of bathroom procedures at the beginning of the year. But now I'm just going to kind of lay this stuff out, see what I have in there that I can go up on the board, and then I think I'm going to build the bookcases. So I wanted to show y'all this. I have this cart that everyone has, but I have these little cups, and they're originally from Ikea, but my mom got them for me off of Amazon, and they perfectly fit on the side. And so with this, I'm gonna have like book return, book return, book hospital, and I have these, so I made all these bookmarks and they're on my TVT and I just printed them on colorful cardstock. Then I have some other bookmarks that I've gotten from the Target dollar spot. So I've like stuck on a word, a reading tracker, and this one stuck on the word. Has like words I'd like help with on the back. Y'all, this whole thing is literally full of Target dollar spot erasers. And cause I thought, you know, I'll be teaching math, of course. So use those as manipulatives but nope so now i've got all of these things but i'm gonna put them in our little treasure box as prizes for the kids okay so now i have all this stuff that i've collected for our treasure box that i got at the dollar spot for like three dollars and all this stuff is like dollar stuff from the dollar spot and the dollar tree so i'm just going to take it all out of the package and throw it in here then i think i'm going to work on my calendar and then maybe my toolbox up here and then i'll maybe get to the shelves but it's already 3:22, and i have to leave at five and so we'll see how much i get done but I'm very positive that there's no air in here, and so I'm dying, but it's fine. We have a thermostat back there around the corner. It's just not on yet, I don't think, so hopefully that gets fixed soon because it is very hot. decided not to put this together right now just because I have to tear all these things apart but I actually really like it I'm glad I picked this up this summer because I was contemplating making my own number cards but I actually really like these so I don't have tacks right now to hang it up and I don't know where I'm gonna hang it up so I'm just gonna put a pause on this right now um I'm not sure what I'm gonna do next but I will show y'all also I've collected so much border over the years just for, like from the dollar spot and I have more coming from Lakeshore that I'm going to use, but I'm going to find something fun to do with that. I kind of want to put 
border like around the metal parts of that and like maybe some fun border around the door I think would help brighten it up a little bit and so yeah we'll see what I do with that but I really uh I don't know I just want to brighten it up in here and make it colorful I'm so glad I have white walls because all the rooms inside are yellow green and red like a combination like the tiles a combination the walls are a combination so so happy that I have gray floors and white walls these walls fighting to create a song I don't want to miss a beat and the will go through the wastelands through the highways till my shadow turns to sun rays and the I know I had a whole video on setting this up, but then I had to take all the stuff off and use this as a sticker organizer for my Etsy. So now I have everything back up and then I'm going to fill up what I have here to put in there. So I already put in Sharpies because I was gifted this huge thing of Sharpies. I got that tape I was just using and then I have some, I think, well, I don't even know where anything is. I've got some binder clips over there and I've got some stamps to put in. So I'm working on building the bookshelves and it said online that you didn't need any tools, but of course you need tools. So I'm waiting on one of my teaching partners to come bring me her little toolbox so I can hopefully get these two put together and put up there because it's only like six pieces, so it's not hard, but I need some tools. So let's hope I get those. The thermostat doesn't turn on yet. Like I don't think it's hooked up yet. And so it is so hot. gonna be all for day one sorry if y'all can hear the air behind me I am literally burning up it was like 90 degrees in my room the whole time because as I showed you the air doesn't turn on so sorry if y'all can hear that but that is it for day one I'm currently at the park downtown where I take staff headshots we just have two more nights of this so I got here a little early I got some water and some Gatorade because I'd run out of stuff to drink and I'm going to drink this and eat a couple snacks and then go take these pictures. So I hope y'all enjoyed day one of my classroom setup. I have so many more days to go. So I hope y'all are looking forward to those videos. I'm excited to get everything set up and I think I got a good head start. I showed y'all at the end like a little overview of my classroom and the bookshelf that I built. Um, the people who are like in the portable that connects to me, it's like one portable but there's a wall in between. They were in their room and I can hear them talking through the wall so I know they could hear me talking through the wall and so I just didn't say anything at the end. That's what I recorded at the end. So I hope y'all enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye.